Hello there, YouTube. It's your Webby3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we're looking at one I had in a haul a little while ago. It is Blight, Atomic Edition from the McFarlane DC Multiverse line. Now, I'm not super sure what the all the differences are between him and their first Blight that was in the Build-A-Figure wave uh, for the futures in Batman-Joker hybrid brother eye robot thing uh, but I don't think the regular version had this like flame on top of his little jar head and I don't think he came with these accessories so I think those are the major differences uh, but I don't have the other one sorry but this guy is pretty cool he's kind of Batman Beyond's arch foe had Batman Beyond's father killed he's kind of his Joker uh, pretty cool. You can see he's got like a black skull inside the jar here. Very cool. You can't articulate the jaw or anything. But you can see he has the neck there. So you can see the neck bones when you actually have him displayed. Would have been cool if they weren't purple. Maybe you paint them black like the skull. But they, you can barely see them. And they're kind of covered in shadow so they look darker than they are. So that's fine. He's got little translucent uh, green bits on his torso which is really cool but then the ones on his arm aren't translucent which is inconsistent uh, but it doesn't bother me as much as it might bother others you know but you know I'm a sucker for translucent stuff on figures but he's got good detail and paint that little inconsistency might bother some people but I think it's okay I'll live articulation wise you do have side to side on his jar head uh, you know, you got all this torso articulation, a little bit of waist articulation down there. You can see this joint in here. Forward and back, in and out, up and down, all on the arm. You know, you got the bicep swivel, double elbow bend, forward and back on the wrists, rotation on the wrists. In and out on the legs, forward and back on them too. Not much of a swivel there, but just a little rotation. Double knee bend, up and down on his feeties. You know, you get the swivelly kind of side to side and toe bend. Which is fine. His articulation is alright. Pretty cool. And I do like the purple. I'm a big fan of purple. He comes with two of these kind of radioactive covers. It can kind of be a tiny bit difficult to get them on his hands. I've taken them on and off a couple times already. So it's a little easier now. But but it's kind of good because it means they're a tight fit. They are a cool thing to display him with. Not entirely sure if I'm going to display him with both of them or not. But they do look good, don't they? They do look good. Maybe I'll just display him with one. Like that. That's pretty cool. But for now, let's just leave him off for the review. And then he also has these things that, like, all these figures come with. He's got the normal McFarlane DC stand. And his card, which doesn't have the best image on it. It's just a product shot. I wish they still gave us actual comic book art. Uh, but there he is. Blight, Batman Beyond, Atomic Edition. Eh. I don't know. I just don't really care for the cards as much anymore because it's not like, oh, what cool comic art's going to be on them because now I just know it's going to be some vanilla product shot like that. At least make them really good looking ACBAs or something, you know? But oh well. Now let's get into what I know you want to see. Size comparisons. First up, uh, you know, I got to show him with a figure in his own line, but also a Batman, which is probably not the Batman you're expecting. It's actually the one we reviewed last time, Batrocitus from Dark Knight Death Metal, who I feel like is a little small. <laughs> oh, like when it comes to McFarland figures, because he was smaller than Godspeed, he's smaller than Blight. He shouldn't be smaller than Blight, I feel like. But then we throw Godspeed in here, and they are about the same height. So I feel like Batrocitus was a little small, maybe. You know, here he is with a Mattel figure, the Sinestro Corps Cyborg Superman. He's much too big for these Mattels. Those do not work. But, you remember DC Collectibles DC Direct? Well, how about the DC Essentials Superman? Dang, he's even a little big for the Superman. 
I guess Blight's just a big boy. Because the Superman looked good with the Batrocitus. Dang, Blight, you're a tall little sucker, aren't you? But yeah, that is it for uh, this review, really. There's not terribly much to go over. He doesn't have, you know, too many uh, accessories or anything. He doesn't even really seem like there was that much point to his release. I don't know, maybe it's just because they released a couple more Batman Beyonds. How many Batman Beyonds are there? Like four that they have out now? There was like the regular built one with the Build-A-Figure part. There was the Target exclusive one. There's the ink repaint. And then there wasn't there like one that had glow-in-the-dark paint on it or something? That's like, what, four? Yeah. Plus there's, you know, the Batwoman and whatnot. So maybe just they released more Batman Beyond, so they wanted to have another Blight out there that was easier to find. I don't know. I don't know. But he is cool. I'm happy to have a Blight, even if I don't have a Batman Beyond, because I can't find him anywhere. I can find the ink one easily enough, but... That's not actually Batman Beyond, you know? It's another character disguised as him. I mean, this guy is pretty cool, though. I do like the accessories. He just doesn't... It just doesn't seem like a super important release. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will be seeing you all, you guessed it, next time. Bye for now.